Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Skybound's Transformers. Issue number 5. Optimus Prime and Sparky sit quietly, reflecting on the scars their respective wars have left on them. Sparky, troubled by the never-ending conflict, asks Optimus why things have to be this way. Prime, having carried the burden of countless battles, admits that even he doesn't have the answer. And while gazing at his own reflection, Optimus begins to question if he's becoming the very thing he swore to fight. Meanwhile, inside the Ark, the Decepticons repurpose Teletran 1, having rebuilt it using part salvage from Skywarp's remains, to revive their fallen soldiers. When Thundercracker is brought back online, he's shocked at the sight of what's become of Skywarp. Starscream justifies the sacrifice, insisting that Skywarp gave his life for the Decepticon cause. Suddenly, Laserbeak informs Soundwave that the Autobots have located a new energy source. Seizing the opportunity, Starscream leads Soundwave, Thundercracker, and the freshly resurrected Frenzy and Reflector to launch an attack. At a nearby dam, Sparky assists Ratchet and a newly revived Wheeljack, only partially functional due to their limited resources. In diverting the water to power, an energon-generating turbine. When Wheeljack offers to repair Optimus, Prime refuses, choosing instead to use their energy reserves to revive more of their comrades. RC is brought back next, but their moment of joy is short-lived as the Decepticons launch their attack. Reflector rushes Optimus but is instantly annihilated by a blast from Prime's fusion cannon. Starscream, enraged, accuses Optimus of stealing something precious from the Decepticons. In response, Prime mocks Starscream, suggesting he fears the cannon as much as he feared its previous owner. Furious, Starscream destroys the turbine with his null rays, but ultimately retreats after being blasted by Prime. With the Decepticons in retreat and their ranks bolstered, Optimus decides it's time to retake the Ark. Sparky insists on joining this mission, and Carly volunteers to come along as well, but both Optimus and Sparky turn her down, unwilling to risk her safety after what happened to Spike. As the Autobots prepare to roll out, Cliffjumper secretly sneaks Carly into his driver's seat, believing she has the right to witness their final showdown with the Decepticons. Night falls as they approach the Ark, only to be confronted by a convoy of green construction vehicles. A repaired Starscream emerges, smirking confidently. I knew you'd follow us back, he sneers, ordering the Constructicons to do what they do best, merge and form Devastator. Alright, I gotta admit that the beginning of this issue really hit me in the feels. I mean, first off, that moment with Optimus and Sparky, seeing them both reflect on their battles, and Sparky asking Optimus why things have to be this way, and Prime basically admitting that he doesn't have the answer, that's some heavy stuff. And that moment of Prime looking at his reflection in Megatron's arm, it's almost like he's staring into the abyss. But it really does show you the weight of the emotions that Optimus is carrying with him. And on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, you have this situation with Skywarp. The Decepticons basically doing some Frankenstein-level stuff to rebuild Teletran 1. And the confrontation between Starscream and Optimus I thought was intense. I love that Prime also taunted Starscream, calling him out for fearing the cannon, just like he feared Megatron. And lastly, once I saw those green construction vehicles, man, I almost lost it. Seeing Devastator now enter the fray, that's exactly the kind of epic confrontation I've been waiting for. I can't wait to read the next issue. But let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this issue. Don't forget to like this video and sub to the channel for more. And stay tuned for my breakdown and review of Transformers issue number 6. I'll see you guys next time.